Uh, we also are, are representing more contemporary artists as well. So it, it cuts across the generations. Absolutely. You have had this. This has been in your blood for more than just a handful of years, more than just the Toronto experience. Dale, you've been doing this for a long time. I have. In fact, uh, I have a great family. Mm -hmm. And if you count apartments there, between 98 and 2005, we moved seven times in oh, seven years. No way. And loved every minute of it. Yeah. I always tell everybody I was so happy when I joined the circus because I'd gotten a chance to work with so many talented people. Uh, who really love this industry as I do, and it's great because if you if you have those experiences, it allows you to pick up a little bit of the best of every one of them, mm -hmm. and um, and bring it right here to Hard Rock Park. Right. So I've been very fortunate to be able to do that. We will, as a family, go to one area and stay there, but at the same time, I feel comfortable. Should I feel safe? I mean, there's is there a concern when we walk in the front area? Um, oftentimes, I'm following my daughter around right on her heels, but it, it sounds like, even from some of the guests earlier this week, this is really a great environment to let her roll. Absolutely. Let me, let me just put it in perspective for you. First of all, um, our staff, our, our uh, frontline staff, our, our senior management, if you combine the years of experience that they have had in not just entertainment, but in the theme park industry, our senior staff has over 150 years of experience. Wow. I know I don't look that old, but uh, we have 150 years of theme park experience, uh, all brought to bear with, with safety absolutely in mind. Yes, delivering on the Hard Rock brand is important, delivering on this great tapestry that we have to deal with, but make no mistake, our number one priority as a management team is keeping our guests safe, secure, and in a clean, healthy environment. Absolutely. We take that very seriously. Every one of our rides, every morning, every inch of our track is walked, inspected. Mm. Every ride carriage, every ride vehicle, every set of wheels mm. is inspected every morning by people who we just didn't hire off the street. These right. are people who made this their life's work. Um, there are many, many uh, statistics out there that show you're actually safer inside the gates here than you are getting in your car and driving home after the day. So we, uh, we take that very, very seriously. That's tremendous. That's tremendous. And as you see, just going through those steps of walking a ride, it is important to do, as you say, to really make sure uh, if safety is the highest, uh, one of the highest priorities, it's critical to go out and walk the rides. And as, whether you're opening at 10 a.m. or folks that are out here this week and next week and the next couple of weeks from 4 to 10, it still gives you time to really check everything out. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and you really have to meet some of these phenomenal folks that do this for a living. They take their jobs so seriously, and, and we talked about pride of authorship earlier. These are some of the most prideful, dedicated, caring people that I've ever been around. So obviously, we've got some viewers today, uh, Dale, who haven't been able to see anyone else this week. Just give us a sense if they're coming out today at 4 o'clock, if the, today's the first day, they don't know anything about the park, just give them a little virtual tour real quick. we got five minutes. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, well, first of all, keep in mind we're still in our sound check, right. so not everything's going to be perfect when you right. come out here. I can tell you that a lot of care and time has been put into making it as perfect as possible, right. but when you're, when you're in test mode, uh, we may have technical things that go wrong here and there. Not unsafe things, but just technical things. I can tell you that our shows are going to be up and going and first class and, and pretty close to perfect. Oh, yeah. I can tell you our food is going to be really good. <laughs> and and yeah. they should be, uh, have access to most of our rides here when they come out tonight. Right. Uh, again, it's a great deal because for the $40, you get a $10 meal voucher. Mm -hmm. And our food, uh, you mentioned Chef Tim, our food, uh, most theme parks you go to, it's burgers, hot dogs, right. and pizza. Right. Well, we are busting right through that. Our uh, food is designed with each of the themed environs in mind. Uh -huh. For example, uh, our Carnaby Street Cafe and British Invasion, right. you can go get a world-class bangers and mash. Uh, we've got uh, all kinds of interesting menu items, a, a fresh grouper sandwich over in our uh, Paradise Grill and Rock and Roll Heaven. Right. Uh, here in Cool Country now, our chef assures me that when we enter this barbecue in either a low country competition, right. A Carolina, a traditional Carolina vinegar-based barbecue competition, right. a Memphis barbecue competition, Listen or up. a Texas barbecue competition. We're going to win them all. Sounds like you know what so, you're talking about, Dale. That's have, right. Yeah. All right. Don't tell anybody, but I've had a chance to sample some of the stuff. It, <laughs> it delivers. A couple it's, times. It's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. That's tremendous. Yeah. So surely the food will go uh, 
uh, go on and on, and, and the level of, uh, of, of marksmanship to make it just right, right. is going to be at a high. Absolutely. Well, one of the, the real benefits, we think, of an annual pass is we hope that folks, when they get the pass, are going to, yeah, they're going to love the rides and the shows, but we're, we're really hoping that some night they're going to look at their family and go, you know what, uh, we don't want to eat here, or there, or the other. We want to go to Hard Rock Park to eat right, tonight. Right. And we think that ultimately is going to be one of the benefits of owning a pass. Absolutely. Absolutely. Again, let's just to take a second to guide through for folks who are coming out tonight, right. that coming in uh, out of the big parking area, and you've got hundreds, uh, could it be even thousands of parking places? I, I, I didn't even ask anyone. Yeah, yeah we have enough parking week. to handle 20,000 guests at any one time. Wow. Now, again, I mentioned we've been doing this a long time, so there are studies about how many people uh, come in their come car, in car sure, so. sure. And keep in mind that when you're open 10 a.m. to 1 a.m. or tonight from 4 to four 10, to 10 sure. uh, that more than likely you won't have 20,000 people at any one time. Right. So uh, during a regular operating day, let's say you had 15,000 in the park at any one time, that translates to probably 20 to 30. 30,000 people yes. throughout the entire day. Right. So we have plenty of parking and uh, it's very convenient to the front gate. Absolutely, absolutely. Folks would come into cool country if they were coming in right. uh, through the all access entry area. That, that would really be their first big major area on the right. Right, exactly. Well, they'll come in through all access and in all access our two big highlights in there are our, our signature amped coffee shop sure. right at the front yeah. gate. Yeah. It's really good. We've Steven had it open it's really the last couple. Yeah. Oh, it yeah. is. You yeah. know, We don't have to, to leave the site to eat or right. have a good cup of coffee. Uh, and then our all-access merchandise location across the way. I've been everywhere. I've been to almost every theme park in North America. It's by far the nicest merchandise location I've ever seen. Really? Oh, and, wow. and it's almost like walking into a rock and roll museum because, for instance, we have Elvis's karate suit in there. We have no. One of Madonna's stage costumes. We've got all across the spectrum in there. You go in, you come to the right. Uh, we have our Whammy Bar, which is our version of a rock and roll biker bar. It's oh, very yeah. cool. You turn right there, you get into cool country. And I mentioned earlier, there's a little bit for everybody in each right. area. The, uh, the signature attraction there from a ride standpoint is our Eagles Life in the Fast Lane mm -hmm. coaster. It's a, our version of a classic mine train with a twist. I won't give away the surprise, but there's a surprise <laughs> at the end. That twist, yeah. It also features a double lift, which is unusual and, and a, a really neat treat for right. folks riding that ride. Right. Then uh, we get into our uh, Born in the USA area, which features our um, live amphitheater. Sure. Our version of the, our take on the traditional Midway games that you see in other theme parks, Ooh. but I promise you, you have not seen a Midway like this. It's our Funky Town Midway. Let's we have an area, we're calling it Garage Jam. It looks like uh, the funkiest garage you've ever seen, but it, you shoot Nerf balls and it's a huge play area for children of all ages in uh, born in the USA. Right, right. Uh, our Great Meals Diner will be a take on the classic diner. As you go around, um, oh, it also features Slippery When Wet, which is our interactive roller coaster where not only can you shoot water with the push of a button on those, those folks below you, so right. watch out. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, it also has several stations below where the guests who don't want to ride the ride or are waiting in line to ride the ride can, can gain the ultimate revenge uh, by <laughs> making those quite on a bit the of that way. the last couple of days. That's right. Absolutely. Already, yeah. Uh, as you go into British Invasion uh, and are lost in the 70s area. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, we, we have all sorts of unique things featuring uh, our Knights in White Satin dark ride. Oh. Now, most dark rides you've gone on feature the little animatronic characters or flats, right. whatever, or guns. Uh, the Moody Blues have actually recut the song Knights in White Satin for us. No. And this, this ride uh, is basically a trip through that song with sound, lights, again, a lot of surprises. Right. Uh, it's, it's just fabulous. And you come around there, we have um, our Roadies Stunt Show Theater. Uh, it's, a, again, a modern take on the old stunt show. Uh, as you come around, we have uh, some of our restaurants. Uh, Carnaby Street Cafe yes, is one. And right. again, there is a disco cage. You remember Laugh-In? Oh, yeah. I know I watched it when I was a kid. The, the scenes with the flower power and Judy Carn dancing, etc. We've got a cage up top that we'll be doing some entertainment and dancing, and etc. So that yeah. should be kind of fun. Again. Uh, sort of like those scenes in Austin Powers when he when he dances. That's 
kind of what it's like. Right, right. Uh, you come around, you come over our bridge, over the lagoon, and you're in uh, rock and roll heaven. Mm -hmm. The signature attraction there, of course, is, is Led Zeppelin, the ride, where you come into the uh, station, you are immersed in a, in a live concert. Oh, yeah. And then as you board the ride, the ride is synced to uh, the song Whole Lot of Love. And uh, imagine going down the, the first drop and hearing the screaming from the whole lot of love song, song. Yeah, and yeah. it's 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 just wonderful. It's uh, I think that's going to be the ride that people people probably want to get on first. Although quick, yeah. So yeah. folks will go clockwise when they come in as right. opposed to uh, coming the cool country way. Right. Yeah. And as a guy that kind of knows where people tend to to roam, right. Especially when they first get in the gate, that's probably going to be the magnet for them. Yes. The well, it has in. been. Obviously, we've seen a lot of folks right. uh, as soon as the uh, gates opened on Tuesday at four. A lot of folks were heading that way and I suspect as the summer rolls around as June 2, you've got a big celebration on the second which you can't even think about the Eagles performing there. That's oh, incredible. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, June yeah. 2nd and 3rd, the Eagles and the Moody Blues. Right. Uh, we, are, uh, we are selling a package for those two days which is separate from the annual pass but I, again you can go on hardrockpark.com sure. uh, and get information about that. Uh, yeah, the Eagles, I actually uh, was lucky enough when I was in high school uh, to see the Eagles on their Hotel California tour and uh, one of my favorite concerts I've ever been to and to, to be able to uh, have them open our park, the quintessential American rock band, what a treat. We're really, really looking forward to that. And then the fun begins because right after that schools let out all right. around the country. Uh, we've already had, we've been honored to have several articles written about us. Yeah. Uh, saying we're the thing to do this summer. Yeah. Even yeah. more than Orlando. So we're really excited about that. Uh, I know Myrtle Beach and the uh, hotel and motel community here are very excited about it. Right. And we can't wait to get started. I mentioned we're open until 1 a.m. most of those days, too. Sure. So for a $50 admission, folks can join us for, um, what's that, 15 or 15 or 16 hours if they want to. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, we, we think uh, we're going to pack a lot of value into their day. The stories will keep coming. Keep up the yes. great work, Dale. Sorry we've run out of time. Thank you, Greg. Stay I tuned to more uh, Carolina People with the Hard Rock Parks General Manager, Dale Ketson, coming up next. If you've been sitting here the last 30 minutes, you saw those smiles change as it rolled right off his tongue. The world's first rock and roll theme park. You can be a part of it. The sound check rolls until May 8th, May 7th, and then May 8th, the big special day for annual pass holders. May 9th, the big kickoff happens. Get out of here. Hardrockpark.com or 236-ROCK. 4 to 10. Get out of here today, tomorrow. Just make it out of here. Hard Rock Park. Dale Ketzel, thanks so much for being with us Thank you, this Greg. morning. Absolutely.